John, do you have a mascot? Well, Jimmy, I've been thinking about how we lead our lives now, and I think we lead very safe lives, you know. And I think we need to have put a bit of risk back into our life. But the most risky thing most people do these days is eat shellfish or take an unlicensed minicab. <laughs> <laughs> so I've come up with a few ways just to make your life a little bit more edgy, a bit more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Now, I've come up with a toilet roll, and every third sheet or fourth sheet, randomly, is some 80-grit sandpaper there. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, and then you get a double. Oh! <laughs> and this is 80 grit. You feel that? It'll take the barnacles off a ship's hull, that will. <laughs> Sean, you've achieved a lot in comedy. Thank you. Have you ever considered. <laughs> have you ever considered a career change, Sean? Well, I've got so many qualities. Uh, <laughs> it's very hard for me to choose. I mean, I'm very, very good at walking backwards and telling people not to go to the toilet. <laughs> so I think I'd make a great air steward. Forget being Putin or Barack Obama, you know, that's real power. <laughs> hey, you're gonna have to wait, you can't go to the toilet. <laughs> oh. oh! But I mean, I, I mean, before I did this, of course, uh, I, I had a career which uh, some people have very mixed feelings about. I was a, I was a zookeeper for six years. <laughs> a lot of people can't decide whether zookeepers are goodies or baddies. You know, you obviously love animals, but you keep them imprisoned. <laughs> I see myself as generally I had a good record as a zookeeper. Um, you know, none of them ever escaped. A panda hung itself once. <laughs> I've never worked out how we got that belt in there. <laughs> I haven't got asthma, but if I did, and I needed my asthma inhaler suddenly, oh, I did, I've, I've got asthma. Nothing comes out. So what do I do? I do this. <laughs> you can amuse yourself and others while you wait for the paramedics. If you ever find yourself leaving your house thinking, oh, where's my keys? Yeah, well, that's happened. Yeah, but uh, it's not just your keys sometimes you feel like, oh, God, where's this, where's that, where's that? Well, the solution to not finding your keys is a key ring, which is, you know, got all your keys on it. So I thought, why not up the ante a bit on that and come up with a, just a general, like, like a sort of life ring of just stuff you'll need. <laughs> <laughs> and you can have it like that. And then, you know, if you're out and you need something, it's a situation where you need something, it's there. What, what, so, what is that? This? Yeah. OK. You're out. Uh, imagine there's no Sunday trading or whatever. You can't get any food. Right. Right. You've got three hungry kids. What do they love? Cheese. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Two, and they're like starlings, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Three. And that is top quality uh, factory cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, friends, notice this. There's, obviously, there's your keys on there, there's your remotes, <laughs> uh, dog poo bags. There we go. I haven't got a dog, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a hobby. <laughs> John, how many letters? Can I have a bit longer? <laughs> no. Well, because I'm not as good at it as John. Oh, no, that's a good point. John, how many letters? <laughs> yeah. uh, six. David? Uh, five. Catherine? Six. Sean? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't off. got nine. I've got, um, I reckon, around about... If, <laughs> if you're going to really force me to put uh, an exact... Number on it. <laughs> I think it might be a number that's usually called in our language, or <laughs> in other languages, it has many names. It, sometimes it is Jod or Zikat or Rid. But we <laughs> choose to call it Five. <laughs> It's a six. I meant six. <laughs> <laughs> it's a six, a six, a six. John, Sean, make your way to the podium for our version of Mr and Mrs. It's Mr and Mr. <laughs> oh. Can we have the sting again, please? They're taking their time getting here.
I'd walk out, could you not? I've never played it before. Sting again. <laughs> Just one more time, he's on the way, he's on the way. <laughs> okay, okay, Stan. No. <laughs> no, obviously not. I've never played it before. <laughs> How do you play this? How do you play it, guys? I don't know. I just you could stand next told. to John there. <laughs> That's how <laughs> the game is played. You stand ominously <laughs> just behind the smaller man. <laughs> He's still in a position that leads you to speculate that our marriage might not be a Mr. and Mr. Yeah. scenario. <laughs> That's better. That's all I wanted, John. Uh, David, you've recently played Shakespeare in a sitcom. Yeah. Would you like to have lived in Shakespearean times? Well, I'm a big fan of septicemia, so yes. <laughs> uh, no, it would be terrible because, you know, they had no medicine or pain relief. Or, I mean, they had lovely wooden beams. It's the whole place would have looked like a, just an absolute jewel of a B&B. &B. <laughs> <laughs> but with zero Wi-Fi, no TV, no antibiotics. It was a hellhole. <laughs> Frankly, they were all mad they didn't just kill themselves. <laughs> but they didn't have to kill themselves because the septicemia was waiting. <laughs> do, you, do you think that's why they had so many wars in that period? Because they just thought, let's just get this over with and have a war. Well, yes, it's what's to lose, yeah. you know? Well, yeah. Toulouse is a place in France. <laughs> I've just done a crap pun on my own remark. <laughs> I like it. Uh, OK. Big Do rugby you... playing city. Yeah. <laughs> Famous yeah. for its sausages, which yes. are heavily um, spiced, flavoured. <laughs> and bigger than any sausage you'd normally see on a plate. So you wouldn't, if you were someone said, how many sausages do you want? You wouldn't have two. <laughs> <laughs> Easy jet fly there, quite yeah. good. <laughs> It's the gateway to the Pyrenees. <laughs> put that up anywhere and I can smoke. <laughs> John, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Uh, probably, instead of putting money in these catalogue schemes, put the money into just an ordinary bank account and at the end of the year you'll have more than enough to buy the items that were on the catalogue and have a bit left over. <laughs> You know, you say some of these things out loud. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know, what do you want from me, Jimmy? When what? you're shagging everyone, do them really well. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure everyone in a gangbang has a lovely time <laughs> and has a nice dinner as well. Yeah. It's not just about the sex. You can have a nice yes, dinner the, the key to an orgy is the catering. <laughs> To lose sausages would be excellent. <laughs> They're so suggestively shaped. Yeah. So it gets everyone in a sex mood. Yeah, but you wouldn't want the cassoulet that went with them, cos that... You don't want a lot of beans in your stomach. <laughs> uh, Sean, you're a fine figure of a man. How do you stay in such a remarkable condition? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, really, Jimmy. I mean, I've got a tapeworm. That helps. <laughs> <laughs> That, uh, that certainly helps. Well, I call him Charlie. So go on, Charlie, that's for you. Look. Right <laughs> <laughs> you know that 12% uh, of the people in this country have got tapeworm? Really? Which actually makes them more popular than dogs. <laughs> Is that true? As a pet, yeah. How do you get a tapeworm? Do you eat a worm and off it stays pork, in you? don't you, yeah. You get it off pork. Do you? Yeah. Always pork? Yeah, always pork. <laughs> You get it off, a, off pork or and not off anything else. No, no, no. Another victory for the Quorn Brigade. I've got a song about it. If you want to get a tapeworm, eat some pork. <laughs> if you want to get a tapeworm, eat some pork. Oink, oink. Lamb, chicken, beef, fish or egg. Forget it. You won't get a tapeworm. <laughs> Could someone upstairs Google if you get tapeworms from pigs? How do pigs get them? They get them from other pigs. <laughs> <laughs> they eat pork. You can they only pork. get them. How many times do I have to explain it? <laughs> you can only get a tapeworm. <laughs> pork. If you want to get a tapeworm, eat some pork. They eat pork and then they get it and they get it to the pork. <laughs> so who, which came first, the, Wait, the tapeworm the or the pig? Well, it was the Big Bang, actually. What happened was it in the Big Bang? 
all the tapeworms flew into the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say this version of Countdown is less intelligent than the <laughs> Sean, news just in, uh, you can get tapeworms from beef. <laughs> well, it's a... I, just said, <laughs> I just say I'd say one thing. Google can go fuck itself. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things you can get for Christmas, you can buy, like, a goat for an impoverished village somewhere in the world. And I thought, much better idea, get them a greyhound. <laughs> <laughs> and then, maybe, they can open up a racetrack, <laughs> get a betting shop... <laughs> Shows alcohol as well, but they can really enjoy their lives. <laughs> Just like we do.